know, thank you for sharing your story. And whenever we, we see you, you are you're the life of the party. And I know when you were 20, you were the life of the party. But when people expect you to be that, and you're, un you're in New York, and you're on Broadway, and, you know, with bipolar disorder, you go through, like, emotional changes. It's like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And so your highs are high, but your lows are low. So when you were having those low moments, mm -hmm. how did you continue to show up and be the life of the party? Well, you know, mania is a tricky thing. Mania usually came in the daytime for me when the sun was out mm. and people were out in New York and, you know, I could just mix in and blend in. And a lot of people in show business are bipolar because we can hide that edge, you know, that Robin Williams, that, uh, uh, that uh, Jennifer Lewis. Energy off the charts. Yes, sir. Nonstop. So, but what happens is that it becomes dangerous. That same ma mania will have you speeding in a car. That same mania will have you buy a huge house, which is what I did. That same mania will have you shopping and buying the whole store. That same mania causes addictions. Mine's was sex. I never got into hard drugs. And I tell you, I always say there's two things that will change a human being, only two because we are habitual creatures. One is you get a life-threatening diagnosis. Oh, yeah, that'll stop you, won't it? The second, which happened to me, was you just get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Once you've hurt yourself so much, you look in the mirror one day and you just say, that's enough. I was fortunate I had good girlfriends around me who saw that something was wrong. Okay, I was entertaining, and I was cute, and I was happy, but when the curtain came down, oops. Cause see, we hide our depression. We eat ourselves to death in dark rooms. We drink ourselves to death. We get high ourselves to death. Well, you gotta get tired because you will lack motivation with all of that and good friends. And, and, and sex brought you a high, right? Oh, no, honey, let's get to it. I, I, when I came off stage on Broadway, I had to have a good-looking man to bring that high down. <laughs> oh, yes, no, I have, look, ain't no shame in my game. You understand? Yeah, I did it. Would I do it again? No. But I did it. But I'm here. And I went to therapy and took care of myself. My girlfriend said, something's wrong. I said, nothing's wrong with me. I'm Jennifer Lewis. Don't tell. Oh, yes, there was something wrong. You have to reach out your hand to your friends. You know if your girlfriend hasn't come out of the house in two weeks. Something's wrong. That uncle in the basement, that aunt in the attic, that never comes out. Something's wrong. If you walk past a house in your neighborhood and the lawn is not well kept and mail is, and papers are piling up, something's wrong. And this country right now with what we're going through, we've got to pay attention to each other.